Hi there and welcome back to another journaling video. I've decided to give bullet journaling another go. I have been dabbling in it and um, I was doing quite well but just kind of like doing my statistics but I've decided that I really enjoy it and I would like to journal a bit more than my um, social media statistics. I would actually like to um, journal a bit more, um, keep track of like my sleep patterns, what I'm eating and that kind of thing. So today I'm setting up for October. I like colour so I like to get my pens out and this is like my October starting page. So um, I've just got the pens and my black journal pen and I'm just setting up for the month. I like to have that first page um, quite colourful and then I like to follow the colours throughout the month. But I'm quite a doodly person. I'm not really like one of those neat people when it comes to my bullet journaling. And that's fine because everyone's different. Um, when I look at other people's journals, however, that are really tidy, it does give me journal envy. Maybe that's something I can work to in the future. But for now, this is okay for me. I'm not... Um, I'd say I'm quite a beginner when it comes to bullet journaling. Actually, I'm a very much a beginner journaler, but um, I'm having fun and that's fine. That's what it's about, isn't it? Um, I've decided to have this little like calendar stamp on the front as well. Um, I picked up this set on eBay absolutely ages ago, probably two or three years ago, and I haven't really used it before. So I thought that would be really fun. And I'm just going to scribble on the front. I've seen some setup pages where there's cute um, quotes which look really nice, but um, I like this and it's a good start to my bullet journal. Let me know if you're a bullet journaler as well and what kind of things you track. Maybe give me some ideas as to what I should be tracking as well or maybe even give a go at tracking because it's tr fun to try new things. I do wish there wasn't the bleed through, the shadowing, ghosting, whatever you call it, um, on the bullet journal pages. I use this pen because it doesn't seem as bad, the Muji pen, but I can still see it and it makes me sad. I just want it to be all clean. I don't want to have to avoid every other page. Anyway, I haven't shown you the rest of my bullet journal. I haven't done loads, but I've done a little bit and then I took a, quite a big skip for a while. Um, it was all just mainly work stuff, to be honest. And then I got slightly back into it last month, but there's a lot more I want to do. I really want to focus and get more done now. Um, so I'm by no means an expert bullet journaler. I am, I would say, definitely a beginner. And maybe that will help you too. I think the number one thing is to forget perfectionism um, and just enjoy what you're doing. It's supposed to be a relaxing process. So don't get upset if it doesn't go quite as you hadn't planned in your head because mine very rarely looks as I plan in my head. My lines aren't straight but I embrace the imperfections and I think it actually looks quite cute so that is fine. Um, Let's do another little pumpkin over here. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep
So this is how I've been using mine um, so far to track my statistics of my social media platforms. So I do like my Facebook, my chat group, YouTube, Instagram, all that kind of thing. And then just last month, I've started actually tracking uh, more the analytics side of things as well from my YouTube channel. So just to see um, that I'm on track, that they're improving, um, all that kind of thing. I do like to kind of look back on statistics and it's nice to see when things are moving in the right direction. Then this next page, I'm actually going to try something new. I'm not very good at sticking to things, as you probably know if you watch my videos, but I'm gonna try really hard and track my sleep pattern. I've seen examples of this on other pages. If you go over to Pinterest and do a bit of a search, there's so many different ideas and inspiration, but I really struggle with my sleep. I don't struggle to fall to sleep but I struggle with dreams and I have really bad dreams and it really affects my sleep um, and I can quite often sleep all the way through but feel in the morning that I've just had such an exhausting night and then I just feel rubbish all day. So I'm gonna give it a go and actually track my sleep. Um, see how long I sleep for, if I've had bad dreams, but then also monitor what I've eaten, any exercise I've had, and just see if there's some kind of pattern. I've tried different things in the past and I haven't really been able to tell, but I've never tried bullet journaling, so this will be a first for me. If you are new to my channel, I do also have a main YouTube channel, which is where I share my vlogs, my daily life, um, my work life, all that kind of thing. It's called Life with Lisa, and I will leave links up there and also down in the description box. By the way, in case you are wondering, I'm using a Leuchtturm um, bullet journal which I bought on Amazon and I'll leave that along with my pens linked up in the description. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. I class myself as a beginner bullet journalist as I've only really used it for um, checking out and keeping an eye on statistics. I would like now to see how my sleep evolves and how my eating makes me feel. Um, actually, do you know I'm going to add a box down here for exercise as well. It's not something I do masses of and I would just tick as if I've done any walking. So if I've walked two miles, three miles or whatever, I tend to only walk at the weekends, but we'll see. So that is my bullet journal. I will never claim to have one of those really neat and tidy bullet journals as I'm not that type of person. I am very much a free person when it comes to doodling and colouring and everything. Um, however, 
I think my next journal I would like to buy the ones with dots in um, because I think that will help keep it straight and now I can totally understand why people choose to have those. So I've got the start of my page here for October. I'm going to keep an eye on my statistics here which is something I already do. I'm going to track my sleep and see how that goes. You know if you watch my videos I'm not great at sticking to things however I struggle really bad with dreams, really bad dreams and it affects my sleep a lot. Um, so let's keep an eye on that and we'll link that up with food as drink as well and see if it all forms a pattern and we'll pop exercise on there as well. So that is the start to my new bullet journal adventure. Let me know if you're a bullet journaler as well, what you track, what I maybe should track, how I should do things different, differently. Let me know. I'm open for suggestions and I'm wanting to learn. So thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you have. And don't forget to subscribe to my new journaling channel if you don't already. Thank you so much. Bye.